was making these uh, threaded collars tonight for my anodizing bench, some special fittings I'm making up, and I have to cut a, a 3 quarter 14 internal thread, so I thought I'd uh, share the experience of thread cutting on the hard hinge lathe. I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't, haven't seen threads cut on a hard hinge and probably have no idea what, it, what it's capable of, but uh, the hard hinge is the best thread cutting lathe there is, uh, bar none. It's super simple to use, it's very fast, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, basically, there, there are two features the hard hinge has that other lathes don't. One of them is a uh, feed reversing lever that you can use under power. You know, most lathes you have to stop to reverse it, but hard hinge you can just go back and forth all day long, it doesn't care. And the other is this uh, tool retracting lever on the compound. So that's to get your tool into the work and out of the work at the beginning and end of the thread. So as with any other lathe, um, this, this set up, my compound set on 30 degrees, not 29, not 29 and a half, not 31, 30 degrees. I've uh, ranted about that in uh, various threads before, about why you should set your compound on 30, and that's another topic. I'll go in that, into that at a, another time. but. Uh, Basically, that's what I do. I always use 30 degrees. So that's what it's set at. I've set my tool, zeroed my tool out on the inside of the bore and zeroed my dials out. And basically, we're ready to cut threads. Okay, all I got to do is uh, feed the tool in. This is Delrin. You know, I'm, I'm feeding with a cross slide. If it was steel, I'd feed with my compound, so I put less of a load on the tool bit, so you're only cutting on one, one edge. So with Delrin, it doesn't care. Feed, feed the whole depth of the thread with the compound. Works great. So I guess we're ready to cut threads. First pass, this is going another 20, 30 thousandths. Second pass, finished pass. One more for good measure.